here playing for Team Liquid. He has the green zerg spawned in the top left on Deadwing. It is the little one. And his opponent spawned as the pink zerg in the bottom right. Currently teamless, it is Johnny Rico. Well, at least he's teamless in game, but he still had that uh, Vega Squadron Twitter header, so he might still be playing for Twitter uh, for uh, Vega Squadron. Well, we'll figure that out later on. <laughs> yes, yes, W N X Web. <laughs> this is an English stream. Good for you. All right, so it's gonna be droning, lots of droning. We'll have to see who um, gets going with a hatch first and who's gonna throw it on the pool first or if we'll see a macro style out of both of these players. To be honest, I would expect something like a 15 hatch out of both of these. Um, maybe even something a little later. Deadwing is just so incredibly huge. And there we go. Looks like it's going to be a 15 hatch, 16 hatch, both of them. Not 15, 15, that pro barely, uh, that drone barely got finished. So yeah, 15 hatch coming out of both of them. And maybe even uh, a later pool. But certainly, certainly um, some gas early on, because you want to be able to uh, at least pressure your opponent if you can. So let's see. No gas being taken. Uh, pool was thrown on maybe a second half a second earlier for Johnny Rico, but we'll see the first deviation here. Liquid TLO going for the extractor quite a bit sooner, so he's gonna be the one that's gonna apply some pressure to Rico. And also had that nice idea with the cross map scout. Overlord's making his way over there. And there we go. Gas has been taken immediately since three drones in there. And thanks for the info, uh, Fiel. Um, TLO has a ZVZ rank of 1,600 on Illegal Luck. Johnny Rico has one of uh, 1,500. So TLO seems to be quite the ZVZ champ. And has about a 20 gas lead, so that will give him a couple of seconds uh, on his speed. Both players only producing two links. And the initial overlords for TLO just now reaching into the natural of Rico. And he will see those two links moving out. We'll try to get close and on top uh, of these choke points just to see, okay, are there more links streaming out or can I be safe? Uh, can I just drone up safely? It looks like both of them are droning up uh, as hard as they can. Uh, Kukons or larvae actually being spent on, la uh, on drones almost exclusively. And there is the bailing list for Johnny Rico. Tilo immediately scouts that out and now will get into his main and uh, see if more drones are being produced. Yep, there's the next round of larvae and he spends them immediately. Uh, keeps one of them alive. <laughs> wow, does that Ling actually get out of there? Tilo also going for the bailing nest. And I'll notice the spot here. This is an exquisite spot because you can place a spine crawler behind this and it's going to be um, safe because it's in between this hatchery and the baneling nest. You could even go for the baneling nest over here. Oh, he's actually. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of a more offensive style with a spine. Sure, he can move it on, move it on back later on. He will see once uh, Zerglings make their way over there since he does have the overload in position. Um, nice situated here um, on this spot at the very front. He doesn't even have like a maybe like a tiny tiny dark spot but doesn't really matter all that much. And both players are going for the layer behind us. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> That's an interesting morphing spot for Bane Links. And there's the cancel. We'll get in there one more time but not... Ooh, actually gets into the main. Wow. That was nice for TLO. Sees the timing here on the layer. Sees that it's almost halfway finished and he I think he also spotted these extractors. Let's check it out. Yes, he did. Saw these extractors. So you know, okay, there is tech coming in. Um, I, I'm a little bit later on my on my layer, but just a few seconds. And he has um, some defensive bane links available to um, go up against Johnny Rico. He's also just testing his grounds, 
trying to get in there with a single link, which is not gonna work. Oh, actually gets gets a poke on this bane link. So I doubt we'll we'll see that much action here. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a layer versus layer. And there's the spire coming down for both of these players. So now it's all about ooh, ah, little bit of a preemptive bane link fire there. Should have let that pop just a few seconds later. And just a single bane morphing in. Nope, there is a couple more. And he's trying to get a third established, and now it's all going to be about trying to deny this third. This, this is basically the timing where you just go for Zerglings almost exclusively. Um, even if you have the possibility to go for the, uh, for the Mutas, you want to go for a bunch of Zerglings just to deny the third. Oh, uh, a little bit. Not, not the best Baneling Chrono tonight from TLO. Maybe the nerves are getting to him. And there we go, going for the chase, and he really wants to get on top of this uh, third base, but we have banelings available for Rico, and TLO knows this. Will morph in a couple of offensive banelings, I don't think they're gonna do all that much. Maybe you can get- ooh, that might have been a nice trade, but not really- ooh, that would be pretty cool! Wow, yeah, that was exactly the hit he needed. And now he has a little bit of a circling advantage, for now, but that's uh, Johnny Rico rebuilding this. Once again, we'll have a co closer look here on the circling numbers. Ooh, Rico warping, moving straight in there. And a good surround. Nice baneling hit once again. TLO currently without any banelings. And Rico with a massive muta advantage, going for 9 mutas straight away. TLO only has uh, the resources to go for 3 right now. But he's also saving up a little bit. Um, being supply bog, that is. <laughs> But has a little bit of a better situation on, th on his third, uh, with his gas being taken. And once you defend and actually keep that third alive for a little bit longer, that's the timing for you to um, get maybe eight workers uh, on the on the minerals. But you need the gas first. Really need the gas for the muters. And plus one carapace coming in, flying carapace that is for the muters. See when we actually get our first muter fight here like TLO will have to retreat back. There is a spore available, so ideally he wants to fight on top of the spore with the queens, and um, that is gonna force him back a little bit here. He's also retreating his overlords already. We'll try to keep these back, we'll try to save him, and we'll try to bolster his mute account. But um, that gives a little bit of a timing to Johnny Rico to just out, uh, out macro his opponent. Just go for a crazy amount of drones, try to get that fourth established, and um, maybe working on transition out of these mutas. But TLO, also working on that. Going for the infestation pit. Going for a couple more spores, and he's gonna creep his way over uh, to establish a fourth base as well. The problem with establishing that fourth is you need the spore already in position, otherwise it's it's too tough to get it up. Either that, or have a massive amount of, amounts of queens available, if you don't have the muter advantage, which he currently hasn't. It's 50 mutas versus 21. Plus one uh, carapace is done for both of these players, and flyer, flyer attack upgrade almost started immediately for both of them. And there's the burrow and infester energy upgrade. Um, Yudas are trying to get in, get a snipe on the extractor. It's a nice snipe, that's something Johnny Rico was looking for. Just trying to stay on top of the muta numbers, and so far he's doing a pretty good job. Once TLO actually has those infestors out, um, he has a pretty solid answer to a flock of mutas, and Johnny Rico will have to watch out for keeping his mutas uh, a little bit. Well, he shouldn't keep them comp up. That is, Just keep them separate. Oh, TLO really wants to save those banelings. I think what he's looking for um, the barrel upgrade is just having uh, burr banelings in his mineral lines, just to keep him safe from runbys. Oh, he needs to keep that infest infestation pit alive. That is so crucial. I think he, yep, he has an in, uh, he has an infuse available, but his mutas are dying, and they're dying quickly. Can he get a couple of infests out? Yep, three are in production. They will have the energy upgrade, but the muta count is just so insane for Johnny Rico. Twenty-four mutas versus thirteen. TLO down to a single queen. This is not a good position. Oh, we're down to three queens. Never mind. Sorry about that. 
Oh, he will lose his third base. This is gonna cut into his production like crazy. But now he's trying to fight. He's trying to fight, but it's not gonna work. That's still way too many mutas. And there's the GG. Johnny Rico taking the first game here in this best of three. In quite a convincing fashion. Wow. Um, just overwhelming his opponent with the mutas. And so such a clutch decision making to go in then at that exact same time. Completely ignoring the fourth base, going for the infestation pit straight away because he knew, okay, if that infestation pit gets finished and a sufficient number of infestors get out, I don't, I have no way to answer this right now. I only have links, I only have mutas, and even with splitting them up, TLO already had way too many spore, uh, spore crawlers. So the issue would have been, okay, how do I actually, how do I actually harass him? And you can't really do that if, um, if they were all split up. And if there are spores available, so really the only way to do this um, was the right way. Just go in there, go crazy, go nuts with your Mudo advantage. And that's that. Okay, uh, Johnny Rico about to be ready. Next map is going to be Overgrove. And that's quite a different map. Quite, quite different to uh, Deadwing. So I, I would expect a different opener out of TLO. But we'll have to see. Of course, if you uh, like the cast, be sure to leave a follow um, down there. And I also have a YouTube channel and Facebook and whatnot. And I also upload all my casts to YouTube. So if you missed uh, the initial game of TLO, uh, Versus, oh geez, I already forgot. That's so bad with this. Um, TLO versus, what was his first opponent? Um, Bordan. Um, you can watch that on my YouTube channel tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, yeah. Afternoon, we'll see. We'll try to get to upload it tomorrow morning, so. That's gonna be available pretty soon. Uh, Johnny Rico still loading his map, apparently. I don't know. Maybe he has a slow connection, or... Maybe that's the same issue that I had. But he did load quite a while in that last game. Could also be just rewatching, uh, rewatching the last game just to check. Okay, maybe, maybe I can just improvise there a little bit, improve a little bit on on a few edges. All right. Come on. Come on, Rico. Why we're still waiting on them? Let's actually check out their that illegal act page that Blumfine talked about. And have a look at the predictions. TLO versus Johnny Rico. There we go. And here we are. Only a slight advantage for TLO. Historical score does go to TLO, uh, 2 -0 and 2-1. Um, well, not historical score, but their actual um, actual score versus each other. Wait, that's... Wait, I'm kind of confused. Why does it say 2-0 for TLO? 1-2-1 for TLO, and then uh, score versus each other still goes to Johnny Rico. That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's kind of screwed up right now. Okay, he is finally in the lobby, so I think we can get started here. Yep, there goes the ready. And we're just waiting for the countdown to start. That's the GHF, let's get started here on Overgrowth Ladder Edition. And here we are. So what do you guys think TLO should do for this next match? I mean, we do have a little bit of delay, so... We'll have to see uh, if, it, if it's gonna help him, but... Here we are, spawned as the Green Zerg here in the bottom left corner of Overgrowth. Playing for Team Liquid, it is TLO. And his opponent is beating him straight on with uh, some pretty good uh, mass muta play. 
It's currently teamless. Our pink zerk, Johnny Rico. Uh, that drink, <laughs> um, oh, I'm not gonna pronounce your name, but that drink, um, oh no, that's Mr. Dot Duck. Um, that drink is a Club Mate. It's um, uh, basically a caffeine, um, caffeine based lemonade. Kind of like a mix between lemonade and, and a tea. And it's refreshing and, uh, well, it's a little bit too sweet, but it's refreshing and wakes you up, so it's pretty good. Pretty good for commentating, but it kind of ruins your voice after a couple of hours, but since we're only doing uh, two and a half hours of casting now, I'm still good. Um, I'm kind of, like, I used to cast in German, but I'm now kind of um, transitioning over to English casting, since there's not that much of a German audience anymore. Well, there is, but they're all <laughs> they're all stuck with uh, with take, and there never was an audience for um, actual serious German casting. So, kind of tough as a German caster if you're if you're not going for the El Gelo style. Okay, uh, and this time we'll have a little bit of a of a switcheroo in the in the bo's, and that's a spawning pool first for both of them. Almost the exact timing um, on both of these hatches as well. And it's a Johnny Rico who's placing his extractor down first. So we'll tr we'll see. Will TLO play this out a little bit more defensively? Because if you're if you're playing defensive, you don't actually need the speed all that much. More importantly, um, you really want to get that baneling nest up as soon as possible and have the spines available. Maybe an extra queen if you're going gasless. That is. It's also an option, but Gasless is a little bit of a risky maneuver. But one I think that uh, Dario might be able to pull off. And there is the next queen coming out of both these guys. And finally, TLO placing down his extractor. So that's a um, extractor on 23. And an additional queen coming out of TLO. So he's playing uh, playing this out exactly as I hoped he would. Has some pretty good um, map vision with these links. And two overlords available on uh, the position of third and on the ramp or close to the ramp. So he will get in there. We'll scout out one of the geysers hopefully. Nope, not quite making it. That's a little bit unfortunate. That's a problem if you don't have speed. You actually don't... Uh, well, I mean... You use the Zerglings like that, and if he gets his queen to the position earlier, uh, this uh, was not too good for TLO. He scouted out the gas, uh, probably clicked on the gas just to see how much was blind, and yeah, we'll see. Okay, this was a late gas. He's gonna rely on these queens mainly for defense, and oh, it doesn't look like Johnny Rico really wants to capitalize on it. Just droning up so far. Getting four links, six? Well, maybe he wants... Yep, yep, he is. He just wanted to get a couple more drones out and now going for straight on, straight on link production. Going for the Baneling Nest and the second extractor. So he's gonna try to bust this before roaches come into play. Which, um, considering the state of uh, TLO's economy, could still take a while. So I think TLO will need to throw down a couple of spines if he wants to survive this uh, onslaught of, of links that could be coming his way here any second now. 20 more links are in production. Hasn't been scouted out at all. And TLO, he's gonna see it now. He's gonna throw down a couple of spines. Maybe wall this off uh, with a hatch or... No, just evos. Yep, that's a good spot for these evos, but he has no spine yet. Three roaches are in production. Plus one has been cancelled. He's trying to defend this without spines? It's, it's gonna be tough, just three queens? And possibly blamings here pretty soon. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's not looking good. That's not looking good at all. There's the transfuse. Keeping one of the queens alive. Only one queen left alive there. 
Roaches are available. He, he'll need to use these Roaches just to make a wall out of Roaches to stop these Banelings from coming in. That's the next Evil Chamber going down. So far he's holding on pretty well and he has the drone advantage. Plus one has started again and also Roach Speed is in production. And Johnny Rico, he's pretty committed to this, producing more and more links. And now with a solid amount of Roaches available, I think he can stop this. Yeah, yeah, he can stop this. He can stop this at all, no worries at all. There's the third hatch. Um. Uh, sorry, I had to throw down a timeout. And TLO, he really wants to keep his Roach Warren alive. He really needs that uh, Roach Speed upgrade. But it doesn't look like Rico uh, will make anything happen here. That's not enough links to snipe out the Roach Warren. It's not gonna happen. Plus one, halfway done. And Rico also trying to get those Roaches on the way. Uh, Roach Warren almost three quarters of the way done. That third is uh, is really his his kind of his ace. Um, if he, if he gets to it, ooh, Roaches, they're making the way over there. Speed is done, there's second evil chain to stop this. Ooh, he needs a lot more Roaches at home. And he can close it off, finally. Is this gonna be the timing for TLO? Can he kill him? Yes, he can. There's the GG. TLO makes the turnaround happen. 1-1 one, one between these two, and we'll go into a final, final map. Yeah, true, there's Nomi, but Mori is not re not casting that much StarCraft anymore, is he? And Nomi is also kind of switching over to Heroes of the Storm, so we'll have to see. Alright, let's see what our final map is going to be. Looks like TL already has a lobby available for me. Ow! Nice! Our final map will be King Seong Station. It's a great map. Um, pretty crazy map too. So, I'm, I'm expecting some early game, game aggression from them. Okay, come on. We need Johnny Rico in here. Not gonna have too much fun if you're playing against me, Dario. <laughs> Mojo Joe. Go, go, TLO. Do we have any Johnny Rico fans in here? Go on. There's gotta be Johnny Rico fans as well. I think he's Scottish. Don't Scots have a huge uh, uh, pride in their fellow Zerg players? I think they do. Uh, we're still waiting on Rico. He might be watching that replay. Not sure. It did take a little bit of time last game, so... I guess that's uh, our time to check out the bracket and see what's happening there. Maybe check out who TLO or Rico might face off in the next round. So, let's have a look here. Um, we'll jump to TLO straight away. Where is he at? Where is he at? Or there we go. Oh, he's gonna play against Lambo King. Either Rico or TLO, that is. Oh, this is a nice match as well. Naniva versus Mana. I think. Well, when uh, Naniva um, stopped his career, uh, he would have beat Mana, but right now, uh, still up for grabs. As you heard, as you can hear, countdown has started, and we're good to go into our final match between Liquid TLO and Johnny Rico on King Seong Station. I said it before, I, I kind of like this map. Gives us, with that little weird, um, weird natural, uh, it's just kind of crazy. I like it quite a bit. Alright, let's get started here in the 
bottom right corner spawned as the pinks are currently teamless. He is Johnny Rico. And his opponent spawned as the green zerk in the top left playing for Team Liquid. It is the little one. Oh yeah. Okay, as I said it, um, I would kind of expect a little bit of a shorter game this time. Or, or at least some aggression early on. We'll probably see a, a pool first. Um, not unlike the last map, where both players played, um, I think, the uh, 14 pool. We'll have to see, but I would expect something like that. No, I'm not a big fan of your name, Asslover21, <laughs> to be totally honest. <laughs> Usually I have no issues at all uh, saying <laughs> Twitch names in chat, but that... I, I don't care about offensive, but... Uh. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Tilo going for the hatch first. Both of them going for the hatch first. Okay, um, must not have understood something about King Seon Station. But maybe that's something they just all agree upon. We'll just go hatch first on this map. CBC is one of those matchups that, uh, yeah, that can get a little weird. There's a pool a little bit earlier from TLO. But just two seconds or so. Not gonna matter all that much. Scottish Zerg, the new Bravehearts. We'll have to see. And there's gas uh, for Johnny Rico quite a bit sooner than TLO. So he's the one that will put on the pressure first. And more droning up, more droning up to do. TLO, of course, immediately sends his drone in here, and we'll have to see if he uh, sends them back out after the initial 100 gas has been mined. Oh, Lampo defeated um, TLO yesterday, 2-1. to one. Wow. So, if he, uh, like, if TLO wins this, he can take uh, some dear revenge, uh, just as Fjell just spotted. Oh wow, that would be pretty nice for him. Let's see if he can make it happen. First he needs to beat this Scottish Mastermind Zerg. Who just built his first set of links and gets them over there straight away. TLO um, opting not to go for links right now. We'll have that uh, speed up a little bit sooner though. Oh, Johnny Rico that is. Oh, sorry. Should switch this around. Now it's, now it's set up correctly. TLO, um... Has two queens available down there. Third one is being produced as we speak. So he's uh, doing a similar style as last game, but with a little bit earlier gas. But he's staying in there so far. So uh, we'll have a, lot, have a lot of guys available for bait links or a possible roach transition. We'll have to see. Rico makes his way in there, scouts out, uh, scouts out the geyser, scouts out the timing on the link speed. We'll have to see, will he opt to go for a lot more links? Once the speed finishes? Oh, t Lambo defeated TLO because his keyboard failed? That's not something you want to see happen uh, to a pro gamer. Well, not to anyone, but uh, hurts quite a bit as a pro. Okay, there's the evil shame on Roach Warren, so it's a, it's similar to the last game, but I think um, he was a bit sooner on his gas this time around. Already starting with the creep tumor, and yep, Johnny Rico. Nope, he didn't get the kill on the creep tumor. That's great, saving up the energy. And will we get in there? Oh, he will get in there one more time, and we'll scout out. Okay, uh, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. It's gonna be the same style that you played last game. And I think he's gonna prepare for it. He's not gonna go for that mass Ling attack, but instead going for layers straight away, getting a spine, 
Getting a couple of uh, banelings as defense. But going straight for the Spire. Nice decision making. So TLO has a little bit of timing to make something happen, but not much. Um, since speed won't be out uh, until quite some time. And he doesn't have a massive creep spread or an overlord creep highway. So he has a tiny timing, um, but most importantly um, it is for him to get this third established. Because once the queens, uh, once the uh, mutas are out, it's hard to get that third established. A uh, single queen picked off. He wanted to get that creep highway uh, started. Make this uh, attack a little bit more potent. Uh, I think it's gonna be tough. Rico reacting with a lot of links just to stop these roaches on the way over. And it's working quite well so far. He also produces a lot more spines. Three spines in production. Alongside with an overseer. Wow, Rico. Perfect reaction to what TLO is throwing at him. And the spire is almost done as well. But he th he's thrown a lot of these resources into, into those links, into those spines. So um, there's not going to be as many mutas available as there could be. He's gonna save here pretty soon. Let's see if can, if uh, TLO can make something happen before these mutas get here. Uh, that's way too many links. He needs to get out of there. But he's trying to fight uh, way outside of the reach of the spines. And it's working well so far. Uh, sniping the queens. It's good to keep the muta count low. But can he get on top of these drones? That would help out quite a bit. Get him the resources. Uh, possibly snipe the spire if you can. Really wants to kill these drones. Wants to harass a little bit more. Uh, over Overseer hurting him quite a bit here. All of these bro uh, all of these roaches will, bet sni will get sniped. But he has a couple more roaches here in the natural. Also doing a lot of damage here. Seven workers killed already. And that third is established. He doesn't have any defense there. He's still relying quite a bit on these roaches, but they're doing their job. Donny Rico is down to 32 workers right now. And TLO is preparing for the mutas. He's building two queens at home, so he should be safe once these mutas turn around. But uh, so far, they're still defending. So far, still working on these roaches at home. That have a nice little, nice little dessert. Now they can finally go on the offense. But uh, more and more roaches are streaming in. Tilo is still producing roaches behind this and also bolstering his drone count. Problem is with with him producing these roaches and sending them over here. Um, now they're just gonna be muted for fodder. Of course, they're delaying the mutas from coming to his base, but. Right now he's pretty well defended. I mean, he has... Oh, nice. Good job. Nidus Network. Good idea. Um, will be uh, quite detrimental to this third base. Johnny Rico not not going over there quite yet. He probably knows. Okay, TLO is defended. I need to think of something else and I need to think about it quick. And what is... Is TLO's plan totally relying on that Nidus Worm? I think he needs a little bit more if, if he wants to if he, if he wants to win this fight. He has a good drone advantage, uh, ten drones, which uh, results in a nice little mineral and gas advantage. And now going back into roach production, also getting the pneumatized carapace upgrade. And there is that Nidus. There's the Nidus we talked about. He gets a huge amount of roaches and just goes into the natural, takes out a lot of workers. Oop. I think he can. There's the Roach Warren Evil Chamber going down for Rico. But right now, he's going over there. He's chasing these overlords. But, nope, reacting in time. Turning around. Couple of roaches made their way into the mineral line. But this looks kind of like a decoy. Oh yeah. TLO trying to get that creep spread established. And he has a lot of transfusers available. Haha, <laughs> drones are in the mix as well. See if he can place down some offensive uh, spines or spores, that would help out quite a bit as well. But he needs more roaches behind this. Plus two upgrade is coming in. And Rico, his only option is more mutas, and more mutas right now, I think, are not gonna do all that much. Roaches trying to get on top of this third. Nope, they're gonna stra go straight for the natural. Sniping this uh, bailing nest, which uh, would have been nice against the queens. 
I think, yeah, with those transfuses, the queens will stay alive for quite some time. But he should go for more spores if he can. Otherwise, uh, these mutas might still deal some damage. Yep, the queen numbers are dwindling. The natural has been sniped off. And roaches are sniping the layer as well. And once that layer is gone, that's GG. Yeah, TLO takes it 2 to 1. I know it should be impartial, but I know most of you guys tuned in because of him, so. There goes my impartiality of the window. Is that it? <laughs> Sorry about this.